हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन आई एम योर टीचर अतुल सर राइट एंड वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग क्लासेस राइट सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड लेसन नंबर टू ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट साइंस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रेंड्स एंड फूड ओके सो दियर स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेसन इन फोर सेशंस राइट बिकॉज दिस लेसन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Uh, in first session we will understand that uh, what are microorganisms and types of microorganisms in second session we will learn the beneficial use of microorganisms why microorganisms are called friends right in next session we will understand about the uh, harmful effects of microorganisms how the microorganisms germs bacteria viruses and uh, fungi algae how they can be dangerous for the Uh, living things and in last session we will learn about the nitrogen cycle preservatives and vaccination so let's begin with the word micro right so what does micro mean the micro means tiny very tiny whatever the organisms are there in our surrounding we can see them with our naked eyes because of their size they are large they are macro organisms right so exactly opposite of macro micro organisms are there the tiny organisms which cannot be seen by our naked eyes right for to see them we need a device called microscope we need a device called microscope to see them right so as we have learned that there are four types of micro organisms number one number one is bacteria what is number one bacteria see here number one is bacteria number two is fungi number three is algae and protozoa so these are the four microorganisms microorganisms are classified into four bacteria fungi algae and protozoa now you must be surprising about the virus why viruses are not categorized viruses are right microscopic viruses are microscopic they come under category of microscopic because they are very dangerous and there is a, a little bit difference between microorganisms and this viruses right viruses is also microorganism but what is the major difference is that major difference is that this bacteria fungi algae protozoa they can reproduce by their own they reproduce by their own whether they are outside of the body or uh inside of the body they can reproduce by their own even though they are outside of the body right but these viruses see here i made square here right rectangle so these viruses they are little bit different why different because they are on the boundary of living and non living living outside of the human body or any animal body plant body right they are non living they do not grow they do not grow they do not uh, multiply but as soon as they get the body of host now what is mean by host host means microorganism they attack on living organism cell and they enter into the cell and utilizing their body for their growth so themselves they cannot grow but if they get the host body then they will start uh, rapidly growth will take place isn't it so these are the basic differences between of uh, this other i am uh, microorganisms and viruses now we will go for the commercial use of microorganisms now what is mean by commercial use as you know that commercial means what for earning how can we use these microorganisms for earning purposes right so first of all we will see that how the microorganisms are beneficial right these microorganisms all microorganisms are not harmful right they are our friends also they are the important members of uh, cleaning system of our earth also right so commercial use do you know that microorganisms right they are used to make bread cake pastries right whatever the uh, regular items are there we are eating which are our favorite bread cake cheese pastries so microorganisms are involved in their preparation then curd day to day life we are eating curd right so do you know that how the curd is prepared curd is prepared means when milk is converted into curd right curd is made from milk how how it is possible it is possible because of bacteria 
isn't it it is only possible because of bacteria see what happen the milk is converted into curd it is a chemical reaction isn't it so which microorganism is responsible that for that lactobacillus what lactobacillus is involved in the preparation of milk into curd right then yeast is there which is making our blood fluff okay so microorganisms are involved in the production of bread cake cheese curd pastries and alcohol see here this alcohol it is one of the biggest industry alcohol beer wine isn't it so these all are prepared with the help of microorganism and by the process of fermentation what which process fermentation fermentation is the process fermentation kya hai ek process hai kaisi process hai jiske andar sugar sugar get converted into alcohol sugar get converted into alcohol this process is discovered by louis pasteur right microbiologist louis pasteur discovered this process by which the cereals right fruits right they are having natural sugar that natural sugar can be converted into alcohol and this process is called fermentation and it is discovered by louis pasteur in 1857 1857 right it is discovered by louis pasteur so pure microorganisms harmful nahi hai kuch microorganisms are very useful and for that we are learning this science okay microorganisms and their beneficial use ओके, सो अभी यहां तक तो आपको समझ में आ गया कि माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम किस लिए यूज होते हैं दे आर यूज टू मेक ग्रे केक ब्रेड चीज देन पेस्ट्रीज कर एंड अल्कोहल तो ये सारे उसके क्या है उपयोग है दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न तो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम आर यूज एज कमर्शियल यूज ओके द सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन इज दैट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ for preparation of antibiotics right now what is mean by antibiotics antibiotics ye word aapne jab aap bimar girte hain right whenever you are ill right you are visiting to doctor so doctor they are prescribing some antibiotics to you right so why doctors they are giving you these antibiotics why doctor is suggesting to take these antibiotics and complete the dose of antibiotics the reason is that these antibiotics when we take they produce antibodies in our body they produce antibodies they produce what antibodies these antibodies are used to fight against this is fight against germs to fight against germs so whenever the foreign microorganism which is not new for our body when it is attacking at that time our immune system what happens that human system wbc they fight against that enemy invader germs and they kill that germs but sometimes what happen if our resistance power is not strong right so those who are having weak resistance power in that case what happen they may fall ill and during that stage they are unable to do their regular activities sometimes they may be bedridden so doctors they are giving them antibiotics when they take the antibiotics right they produce antibodies in their body and these antibodies fight against the germs right but do you know that how the antibiotics are made these antibiotics are made with the help of microorganisms some fungus are used to make antibiotics right so these fungus are used to make antibiotics some vaccines are also made by antibiotics not only fungus this uh, antibiotics some vaccines vaccines are also made by microbes right that we will learn in detail what is mean by vaccine and how they are utilized so we are we have to understand the example of antibiotics right this is a very important part of the lesson so what are the examples of antibiotics streptomycin students you have to learn this antibiotics because every time they are asking in exam give the examples of antibiotics so what is the first one first one is streptomycin streptomycin is antibiotic then tetracycline what 
टेट्रा साइक्लिंग देन टेरा माइसिन सो सम स्ट्रेंज वर्ड्स आर देर बट यू कैन बाय हार्ट इट ओके फर्स्ट वन इज स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिन टेट्रा साइक्लिंग एंड टेरा माइसिन देर आर अगेन अदर माइन ऑन एंटीबायोटिक्स आर ऑल्सो देर बट फॉर पायलट एग्जांपल वी आर लर्निंग दिस थिंग राइट सो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ऑल्सो यूजफुल टू मेक एंटीबायोटिक्स अंडरस्टूड देखो पहले हमने देखा कि इट इज यूज टू मेक ब्रेड केक चीज कर्ड पेस्ट्रीज अल्कोहल अभी हमने देखा कि माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म से हम क्या बना सकते हैं एंटीबायोटिक्स भी बना सकते हैं सो तो है कि नहीं ये यूजफुल है ना राइट द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दे इंक्रीज द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मेजर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल मस्ट बी इंक्रीज isn't it and that work is done by the microorganisms some bacteria some fungus what happen they are converting these complex minerals into simpler minerals right that we will learn in nitrogen cycle jo complex minerals hote hai usko wo kis mein convert karte hai simple form that can be absorbed by the plant and that can be dissolved in water so that important work is done by the microorganisms which increases the fertility of the soil zameen ki jo supikta hai wo badhane ke liye microorganisms ye sab hamare liye karte hai nature ke liye karte hai isn't it then it gives a soil fertility by converting complex minerals into simpler the next one is a cleaning microorganisms are the important members of cleaning system right do you know that in forest all the uh, carnivorous animals they are eating other animals and eating their flesh killing and eating their flesh so afterward their dead body is lying on the uh, land of the forest so that dead body is should must be destroyed so that work is done by the microorganism by the process of decomposition some bacteria saprophytic fungi are there which are important they are decaying the organic matter they are decaying the organic matter into again that can be dissolved into the their uh, basic nutrients right so dead bodies ammonification is the process that decayed and de uh, decomposition of dead organisms and finally again this goes into the soil to increase the fertility of the soil again it is one of the important part so they are the cleaning members of mother earth देखो बेटा अभी हमने ये सेशन में क्या पढ़ा कि माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हार्मफुल नहीं है कुछ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स है जो हमारे लिए बेनिफिशियल है तो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स का यूज सबसे पहले हमने देखा प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्रेड केक चीज कर्ड अल्कोहल पेस्ट्रीज बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन डिस्कवर्ड बाय द लुइस पाशर इन एटीन right conversion of sugar into alcohol is called fermentation then micro organisms are used in antibiotics production right example streptomycin tetracycline tetra tetramycin then vaccines are also made by the micro organism they increasing soil fertility by decomposition and then cleaning members of the mother earth by decomposition of dead bodies of plants and organisms right then so this is the important part of lesson in next session we will go for the again what the harmful effects of microorganisms right so you have to learn it you have to learn it